to the Lipstick Living channel. My name is Rachel and you can find me on Instagram at the Lipstick Living. Please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. So today's video is going to be me meal prepping for the week. I have three recipes that I'm going to be making and I thought that I would show you just in case you're interested in making this at home for yourself. So the first recipe is going to be my granola recipe. So um, it's just homemade granola that you can use uh, for breakfast. You can make like a parfait with it. I usually eat it with yogurt and fresh fruit, but you could eat it by itself if you wanted. You could put it on top of ice cream, I guess, if you wanted, um, or just yogurt by itself. Uh, it's super good, So and it's mostly healthy. So I have laid out all my ingredients for the granola. Um, so the first step is going to be to preheat my oven to 350. Okay, so preheated my oven. Then I will mix all the dry ingredients together in a big bowl. So um, the dry ingredients are old fashioned rolled oats that I have here in this container. And it's four cups of that. recipe from Pickup Limes on YouTube. She is based in the Netherlands, I believe. I think she lives in Amsterdam and she is a nutritionist and has a ton of amazing recipes. She's completely vegan, so all of her recipes are vegan. She has a lot of meal prepping videos, uh, but I found this years ago. I've been making this for probably three years at this point and I love it a lot. And it's kind of got like fall vibes because it has pumpkin seeds in it and dried cranberries. Okay, so that is one cup of pecan pieces. And then I need a fourth a cup of brown sugar, half. dry ingredients so once you get the dry ingredients together it says mix it up and then you're gonna mix up the uh, liquid ingredients and pour those in with the dry ingredients okay so now I'm gonna mix all my dry ingredients together so all my dry ingredients are mixed up now so I'm gonna make the liquid ingredients and mix those together just get a small bowl Okay, so it's just a fourth a cup of maple syrup. And we need a fourth a cup of vegetable oil. So a fourth a cup of vegetable oil. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're gonna pour the wet ingredients over your dry ingredients and then mix together. Okay, now I'm going to get a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. Okay, and then once you have it all mixed up, your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients, you're just gonna pour it onto the baking sheet. And then you're just gonna pop this into the oven at 350 degrees on the middle rack and you're gonna bake it in 10 to 15 minute increments. So you wanna check on it every 10 to 15 minutes so that the top layer does not burn. So I'm gonna put it in, at first I do 15 minutes and then I mix it up and then I do two more 10 minute increments. 
so for a total of 35 minutes and usually that's where the granola is like a light golden brown and that's what I like. So, and when you see it, it will darken up and harden up a little bit after it cools down. So you don't want to push it with it. And while that cooks, or while that bakes, I will start my next recipe. Oh, and you can keep your cranberries, your dried cranberries and your chia seeds. Those are the next ingredients that we're gonna use with the granola. Um, so, and I will list the ingredients in the description below. I just set the dried cranberries and the chia seeds aside because you're gonna add that towards the end. And the next recipe I'm gonna start on is going to be my energy ball recipe. So it's, it's super easy, it's really delicious. Uh, it's just a way to get more protein in um, and they're healthier so if I'm craving something sweet instead of dessert I'll just eat an energy ball and then I'm giving myself more protein and it has many chocolate chips in it but very little so it kind of tastes sweet but um, you're, it's still mostly healthy. I'll just go ahead and list the recipes but it's a cup of the old-fashioned rolled oats, a half a cup of flaxseed ground up, one cup of peanut butter, a third a cup of honey, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then a half a cup of the mini chocolate chips. So I just mix all the ingredients together and I roll it up into little balls and then I pop them in the freezer and they will last up to three weeks in the freezer. granola out and uh, mix it up so that the top doesn't burn and then I'll put it back in for 10 minutes. It smells so good. It literally smells like you're baking like a cake or something. Okay. And then I'm gonna get to rolling out my balls. <laughs> my balls and they came out to 24. Okay, so this is the finished product of my energy balls. Hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pop these into the freezer now. to move on to the third recipe, which is my Greek salad with chickpeas that I made up. So uh, this one has three seedless mini cucumbers, two Roma tomatoes, one large red onion, six tablespoons of Greek vinaigrette, a small pack of feta cheese crumble, and then a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, um, a teaspoon of harissa seasoning, and then a pack of fresh dill that I chop up and put in there. 
Okay, so my granola is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out to let it cool. I let it sit here and cool off, um, so I'm gonna let it cool down, and then I will add in the chia seeds and the dried cranberries to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my Greek salad. So I have already opened the can of chickpeas. So I'm going to drain that. And then I need the oven to be on 425 for the chickpeas. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it because it was previously set to 350 for the granola. preheating to 425 and then I'm going to chop up my vegetables in the meantime. to do is just add that with the chickpeas and mix it up. Okay, so I need six tablespoons of the Greek vinaigrette. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix this up with the chickpeas in it. I'm 
going to season it with salt and pepper and then I'll do a taste test. Let's see. It's so good. I'm gonna really love it. And I'll show you what it looks like. So now I'm going to put this in my meal prep container. So these are the containers that I use. It has three compartments. It has its glass and then it has this pop-on lid. Um, it is dishwasher safe. And the bottom part is glass if you have something that you wanted to put in the microwave to heat up you could do that without the lid and it's safe i found these years ago probably like five years ago i got them like shortly after crystal and i started dating so yeah it would have been five years ago and i got them from amazon and they were it was a pack of five i want to say it was like 25 bucks it was super cheap so if i can find them on amazon still i will link them below so that you can get some too i really like them and there's a suction like a seal this like rubber seal so it keeps it airtight so it's good so usually what I'll do since there's three compartments I'll do one compartment with the Greek salad and then another compartment with my carrot sticks that I cut up and then another compartment with like ranch dressing <laughs> Now I am going to, I'm going to quickly add uh, the dried cranberries and the chia seeds to my granola because I think it's cooled off enough. So I'm going to need a fourth a cup of the chia seeds and then a half a cup of the dried cranberries. And I'm just going to add them to the granola and mix it up and that's it. It's super easy. here because I am going to go ahead and chop up my carrots and put those in these boxes with ranch but that's boring to see so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here and then I will add in a clip of the final lunch boxes at the end I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you try these recipes if you do and you enjoy them um, or you like them definitely comment below and let me know about which ones that you made and which ones that you liked um, or just even comment what your favorite recipe was from today is that would help me out a lot thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye